so this happens to be the first video on partial fractions but before we look into partial fractions it is very important that we discuss what we call identities because it is going to help us in our journey to understanding and solving partial fractions now what is an identity an identity is a relationship which is true for all values of the variable an identity is a relationship which is true for all values of the variable so for example x squared minus 4 is identical to x plus 2 in a bracket times x minus 2 in a bracket since the left hand side is identical to the right hand side now we can consider another example let's say if we have x minus 1 all square now this is also identical to x square minus 2x plus 1 since the left hand side is identical to the right hand side so basically if you expand the expressions on the left hand side then that will be identical to the expressions on the right hand side now let's consider the major difference between an equation and an identity the major difference between an equation and an identity now in an equation the equality is true for a restricted set of values in an equation the equality is true for a restricted set of values now let's consider this equation x minus 1 all square is equal to 4 now this equation is true if and only if x is equal to 3 or x is equal to negative 1 this way we say that the equation x minus 1 all square equals 4 is true for a restricted set of values which are x is equal to 3 or x is equal to negative 1 however for an identity the equality is true for all values of the variable we can as well consider this example x plus 3 all square is identical to x square plus 6x plus 9 now in the course of our calculation we are going to interchange the symbols that is the identical to symbol and the equal to symbol so this is the identical to symbol identical to and this is the equal to symbol so in the course of our calculation we are going to interchange the two now let's try some examples now let's solve example one find the values of the constants a and b such that x minus 2 is identical to a times x minus 4 plus b times x plus 3. now to solve this identity there are two main methods that we can use we can either use what we call the cover-up method or the method by way of expanding and comparing coefficients now in some cases you may want to combine the two in order to find the constant of a particular identity now for this question we are going to use the cover-up method this happens to be the quicker method in finding the constant a and b now let's try this example together now in solving using the cover-up method what we are going to do is we are going to substitute a value of x into the identity so that we make one of the constants go to zero and then we can focus on the other constant so let's do that so we have the question x minus 2 is identical to so we are going to use the equal to so that is equal to a times x minus 4 plus b times x plus 3 next we are going to put x is equal to 4 now if we put x is equal to 4 then 4 minus 4 is 0 and then 0 times a is also 0 by this we make a go to 0 and then we can find the value of b so substituting x is equal to 4 into this equation we have 4 minus 2 equals a times 4 minus 4 plus b times 4 plus 3 
Now let's proceed with our solution. 4 minus 2 is 2. 4 minus 4 is 0, so this goes away. And then 4 plus 3 is 7. So we have 7 times b. Because we want to find the value of b, we divide through by 7. And then we have b to be equal to 2 over 7. So this is the value of b. Now let's find the value of a. So to find the value of a, we are going to put x is equal to negative 3 so that we do away with b. So put x is equal to negative 3. Let's substitute negative 3 into this equation. So this becomes negative 3 minus 2 is equal to a times negative 3 minus 4 plus b times negative 3 plus 3. So this becomes negative 5 equals negative 3 minus 4 is negative 7. So negative 7a and then this goes to 0. So we have divided by negative 7 divided by negative 7 and then we have a equals 5 over 7. So this is the value of a. Therefore a is equal to 5 over 7 and b is equal to 2 over 7. For example 2, we are going to find the constants a, b and c such that x squared plus 4x minus 7 is identical to a times x minus 3 times x plus 4 plus b times x minus 3 plus c times x plus 4. So first of all, we have x squared plus 4x minus 7 equals a times x minus 3 x plus 4 plus b times x minus 3 plus c times x plus 4. Now we have x minus 3 here, we also have x minus 3 here. So if we should put x is equal to 3, then we can do away with the constant a. We can as well do away with the constant b because a and b will go to 0. And then we can focus on the constant c and find the value of c. So we put x is equal to 3. So substituting x is equal to 3 into this equation, we have 3 squared plus 4 times 3 minus 7 equals a times 3 minus 3 times 3 plus 4 plus b into bracket 3 minus 3 plus c times 3 plus 4. 3 squared is 9 plus 4 times 3 is 12 so 9 plus 12 is 21 minus 7 is 14 so we have 14 equals 3 minus 3 is 0 so the whole of this term goes to 0 3 minus 3 is 0 the whole of this term goes to 0 3 plus 4 is 7 7 times c is 7c we divide through by 7 and then we have c to be equal to 2 so this is the value of c. Now let's move on to find the value of b. Now to find the value of b, we have x plus 4 and then x plus 4 here. So we can put x is equal to negative 4 so that we do away with the constant c and also do away with the constant a and then we can find the value of b. So put x is equal to negative 4. In that sense, we have negative 4 square plus 4 times negative 4 minus 7 is equal to a times negative 4 minus 3 times negative 4 plus 4 plus b times negative 4 minus 3 plus c times negative 4 plus 4. Negative 4 square is 16. And then 4 times negative 4 is negative 16. So they cancel each other. And then we are left with negative 7. 
so negative 7 is equal to this goes away because we have negative 4 plus 4 which is 0 and then this also goes away so we are left with negative 7b we divide through by negative 7 and then we have the value of b to be equal to 1 now since we have the value of c and then we have the value of b then we can find the value of a now to find the value of a we need to expand the equation so that we can compare their coefficients so we have x squared plus 4x minus 7 is equal to we are going to multiply x minus 3 and then x plus 4 so x times x is x squared x times 4 is 4x negative 3 times x is negative 3x so 4x minus 3x is x so we have plus x and then negative 3 times 4 is negative 12 b times x is bx b times negative 3 is negative 3b plus c times x is cx and then c times 4 is 4c now let's further expand we have ax squared plus ax minus 12a plus bx minus 3b plus cx plus 4c in the next step we are going to group like things we have only one x squared term so that becomes ax squared plus for the x terms we have a we have b and then we have c so we factor out x and then we have a plus b plus c and then for the constant terms we have negative 12a minus 3b plus 4c so we are going to compare this part of the equation to the left hand side which is x squared plus 4x minus 7 we are going to compare their coefficients so we can choose the coefficient of the x squared term now the coefficient of x squared on the left hand side is 1 and the coefficient of x squared on the right hand side is a since we are looking for a we say that a is equal to 1 by comparing the coefficients of x squared therefore a is equal to 1 b is equal to 1 and c is equal to 2 so these are the values of a b and c respectively for example 3 we are going to find the constants a b and c such that x square minus 7x minus 12 is identical to a times x plus 2 all square plus b times x plus 2 plus c so first of all let's write the equation that is x square minus 7x minus 12 is equal to a times x plus 2 all square plus b times x plus 2 plus c now we can find the value of c by putting x is equal to negative 2 so that we do away with the constants a and then b so put x is equal to negative 2 so we have negative 2 square minus 7 times negative 2 minus 12 this is equal to a times negative 2 plus 2 all square plus b times negative 2 plus 2 plus c negative 2 square minus 7 times negative 2 minus 12 is 6 so 6 is equal to this goes to 0 this also goes to 0 we are left with c therefore we have c to be equal to 6 now let's find the value of a and then b now at this point we are going to expand we can't use the cover-up method we are going to expand so let's expand the equation so we have x square minus 7x minus 12 is equal to 
we have a times let's expand this now x plus 2 all square is is the same as x plus 2 times x plus 2 so we have x times itself that is x square we have x times 2 which is 2x and then 2 times x which is also 2x so that gives 4x and then 2 times 2 is 4 plus bx plus 2b plus c now let's expand further so we have ax square plus 4ax plus 4a plus bx plus 2b plus c we can group like terms we have ax square and then for the x terms we factor out x we have 4a plus b so 4a plus b and then for the constant terms we have 4a plus 2b plus c this is equal to x square minus 7x minus 12. now because you want to find the value of a and then b first of all we can compare the coefficients of the x square thing so comparing coefficients of x square the coefficient of x square on the left hand side is 1 the coefficient of x square on the right hand side is a so we have a to be equal to 1 so comparing coefficients of x the coefficient of x on the left hand side is negative 7 the coefficient of x on the right hand side is 4a plus b so we have 4 and then a is 1 so times 1 plus b since we are looking for b we transpose 4 to the left hand side so we have negative 7 minus 4 equals b therefore we have the value of b to be negative 11 therefore we say that a is equal to 1 b is equal to negative 11 and c is equal to 6